The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to do an MPV problem and an IRR problem. I wrote my own problem for this demonstration, but it works for the same that's in your textbook. The initial investment will be $50,000. The cash inflow for year one will be $10,000. Cash inflow for year two will be $15,000. Cash inflow for year three will be $25,000. And cash inflow for year four will be $27,000. The cost of capital will be 12%. Cost of capital is important for the, the NPV problem, but it's not important for the IRR problem. What we're going to do is I'm first going to show you how to clear your time value money menu and also clear your worksheet which is more applicable to this problem. When you're doing time value money calculations um, in chapter 5, you should have been using the second and the clear TVM button or second and pushing the FV button because above the FV button there's uh, CLR TVM to clear TVM. But since we're using the CF keys for the MPV and the IRR, we will push the CF key. You see I have some data entered into um, my CF menu. What I would like to do is clear that. So I'll push the second key and push the CE slash C key. Therefore I clear my worksheet and I should see all zeros. That's what I want to see. Now I told you initial investment was $50,000. So I push 50000 the negative key and push the word enter. Now I have 50,000 entered negative in my, in my calculator which means that I invested $50,000 into that project so therefore it's an outflow so therefore it needs to be a negative number. Now to enter my stated inflows CO1 10,000 push the word enter. Now I need to go to F01 is the next thing you see on the calculator, but I don't use the F01, I leave it at the default one because 10,000 is only happening one time. If 10,000 happened to be happening twice in a row, I can put two there and I wouldn't have to enter it the second time. But since it's only happening once, I'll just push the um, arrow down past that and go to cash inflow number two. I will have to enter 15,000 push the word enter scroll down by passing FO2 which is the frequency of cash inflow number two still one it only happened one time so I go to cash inflow number three 25,000 push the word enter then I go do the same for cash inflow number four 27,000 enter the next step is kind of tricky and a lot of, a lot, a lot of students don't get this step. Now we have to enter the cost of capital. What button should we push to get the cost of capital? Of course we push the MPV button. We should see I on our calculator. Since the cost of capital is 12 we enter it as a whole number. 1, 2, enter. Now what do we start off this problem in the first place? We wanted to find the MPV. Scroll down one more time. Now you see MPV. Push the CPT button for compute. Our MPV in this case is $5,839.97390. I love a lot of zeros because I do teach um, international finance. When you do an exchange rate, you want to at least have five zeros. But that's neither here nor there on this problem. But we know that the MPV will be positive. 5,839. If we had to round it, it would be 5,840. Now, now that I have your attention, we can talk about the MPV accept or reject criteria. If MPV is greater than zero, what's the book, the, the, the book rule? You accept the project. Less than zero, you reject the project. Equal zero, you would be indifferent, indifferent to that project. The IRR criteria is if the IRR is greater than the cost of capital, you accept. If it's less than the cost of capital, you reject. If it's zero, which IRR would never be zero, you'd be indifferent to that anyway. If it's equal to the cost of capital, you'd be indifferent. That's the equivalence of being zero in the MPV. Okay, let's look at how you do the IRR. You can use the exact same steps we use for MPV. 
Only difference, push the IRR key instead of the MPV key once you finish entering all your cash inflows, and you simply push compute. The IRR in this case is 16.58. Well, since the IRR is greater than the cost of capital of 12, we would accept this project. But let's go back. What if I did not enter the 12? Because using IRR problems, they don't give you a cost of capital. They just give you the cash outflow and the cash inflows. And you just enter the cash outflow, make it negative in the CFO. Then you go to CO1, into the cash inflow, CO2, in the cash inflow, CO3, into the cash inflow, CO4, into the cash inflow. Push IRR. Now, as stated earlier, what if I had ten thousand dollars in all four years I'll just jump to that what I want to do is zero it out so I can start over from scratch right so I push the CF key to make sure I'm in the CF menu second clear worksheet for this demonstration we're gonna have a thirty thousand dollar outlay so thirty enter if you make it negative pushing the plus minus key arrow down remember I said that you have ten thousand dollars four times in a row all four years so I push ten thousand enter this word is frequency of one key so frequency of inflow one happened four times in a row first four years enter I'm going to keep the same 12% cost of capital. Push MPV. 1, 2. Enter. Arrow down. Compute. I see my MPV is 373.49. If I want to find an IRR of that project, I'll push IRR. Compute. My IRR is 12.58, so I'll just just beat my cost of capital so I would accept the project. Hope this helps.